Grade 5 Math, Topic 16, Lesson 1. How can you classify triangles? In this lesson, we're going to talk about classifying triangles by their sides and their angles. I want you to look at the note that I've made over here before we start looking at any of the pictures. An important note, do not go by the picture, look at the measurements and the angles. When we classify these, do not go too quickly looking at the picture and think, oh, it looks all equal, it must be equilateral or none of the sides look the same, it must be a scalene. The pictures can be very deceiving and misleading, so go by the lengths and go by the measurements. Let's see what we have on our note section on the page. This is an equilateral triangle. All the sides are the same length, so what that means is each of these sides is exactly the same measurement. The isosceles triangle has at least two sides that are the same length. So that means two sides of the triangle are going to be identical. The scalene triangle has no sides that are the same. So none of the sides on this triangle are going to be the same measurement. There's also another way to classify triangles, and it's by the measure of their angles. So when we look at the triangles, if we see this little square inside a triangle, that means right away that we know it's a right angle. And if you look over at the notes section that I have, a right angle is always going to be 90 degrees. It won't be more, it won't be less, it is always 90 degrees when you see that little square. It has one right angle. An acute triangle, all three angles are acute angles. Well, what is the measurement for acute? It is 89 degrees or less is going to be an acute angle. So these angles in this triangle, each of them is going to be 89 degrees or less. Now we have an obtuse triangle. One angle is an obtuse angle. All right, so one angle is going to be obtuse. Obtuse means it's 91 degrees or greater. And that's only gonna be one angle. Notice the acute triangle, all three angles are less than 90 degrees, so 89 or less. Our right triangle, we only have one 90 degree angle. So keep your notes consistent with the measurements and the different types of triangles. One other important part to note before we move on is what's here in this little voice bubble. The total measure of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So when I have a triangle, when I add up each angle, so I would be angle, adding angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3, that's going to have to give me 180 degrees to be a triangle. If it's less than that, it's not an appropriate triangle. If it's more than that, it's not an appropriate triangle. Let's look at some examples together. So to recap, a right angle is going to be 90 degrees. An acute angle is 89 degrees or less. An obtuse triangle is going to have one angle that is 91 degrees or more. And all the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. An equilateral triangle, all sides are the same measurement. So all my sides on my triangle, they're going to be exactly the same. An isosceles triangle, two sides of the triangle are the same. So I'll have my isosceles triangle and two of the sides are going to be the same. And finally, the scalene triangle, no sides are the same. So each side on that scalene triangle is going to be a little different. And remember, do not go off the pictures, go off the numbers. So I circled in red the worked examples we're going to do. Number one, can a right triangle have an obtuse angle? Why or why not? So remember, a right triangle is going to have that 90 degree angle. So if we look at the triangle, I have my 90 degree angle here. Every angle in there has to total to 180. So I would have 90 
plus some number plus some number equals 180. If I look at 180 and I subtract 90, I would get 90 degrees. Now that 90 degrees, I have to split between my other two angles in the triangle. And if I split them evenly, that would be 45 degrees and 45 degrees. So if I label my little triangle that I drew as an example, I would have 45 degrees here and 45 degrees here. Let's look back to what an obtuse angle is. An obtuse angle is 91 degrees or more. So can a right triangle have an obtuse angle? Why or why not? The answer is no. It cannot have an obtuse angle because if one angle is 90 degrees, the other two angles must equal 45 degrees or less depending on how you split them up. And the math for that problem is right down here at the bottom. That's going to be number one. Let's look at number four together. Number four says classify each triangle by its sides and then by its angles. So let's look at the sides. I have seven inches, seven inches, and nine and nine tenths inches. So I have two sides that are the same. I have one side's different. So if I go back to my notes, let's see, equilateral, all sides are the same, isosceles. Two sides of the triangle are the same. So this has to be an isosceles triangle. Now I'm going to look at how to classify it by its angles. All right, well, here's a tip off again. Just like we talked about that right angle, I see the little box inside the triangle. So that's my tip off that it's going to be a right triangle and it's a right isosceles triangle. So how I would write that is I would just write right comma isosceles. So it's a right isosceles triangle. Let's look at number five. Number five, like I told you before, go by the measurements, not by what the picture looks like. So let's look here. We have six inches, six inches, and three and one tenths inches. Well, we just did that. That's two sides are the same. So this is isosceles again. Now we need to look at the angles. I have a 30 degree angle, a 75 degree angle, and a 75 degree angle that all total 180 degrees. So if I look at my notes for angles, do I have a right angle? No, because none of those are 90 degrees and I also don't see my little box. Let's see, acute, 89 degrees or less. Well, 30 is less than 89, 75 and 75 is less than 89. So I have an isosceles acute triangle. Let's look at number eight. Number eight has nine and two tenths, nine and two tenths, 15 and one tenth meters measurement for the triangle. So I, once again, I have two sides that are the same and one side's different. This is gonna be isosceles again. Now let's look at my angles. Oh, okay, so they don't, there's no right angle because there's no box, but they have given me just one angle and it's 110 degrees. So let's look back at our angle notes that I have at the top. It's not a right because it's not 90. 110 is greater than 89. So obtuse has an angle that's 91 degrees or more. So this is going to be an isosceles obtuse triangle. Let's look at number nine to finish this off. Number nine has six meters, 10 meters, eight meters. All of those are different measurements. So if I have different measurements, that's not equilateral. It's not isosceles this time. It's going to be scalene. No sides are the same. So this is a scalene triangle. Now I need to look at my angles to classify it. Oh, look down here. Here's my little box. That indicates that that's a 90 degree angle and that's a right triangle. So it's a scalene right triangle. Go ahead and try the rest on your own.